We've seen many young people of our church family grow up and move on out into the world, seeking to follow God's will for their lives. I spent many a Sunday evening in this very room with uh, the teenagers of the Cypher group, and I often wondered what the future held for them and what impact they might have on the world. We've managed to track down a few of those young people, now they're grown up, uh, and we've gathered their stories for our next Vox Pops. Hello, I'm Sophie. I'm an ex-Cypher member, and when I was in Cypher, I was very clumsy and accident prone. I was also always falling over and injuring myself when um, playing Cypher games or doing nice Cypher activities. So for example, one time at Viney Hill, I was having a pillow fight on a slippy floor and managed to fall over backwards and bruise my coccyx, which was really painful. And then another time on an ice skating trip, I fell over again and sprained my ankle. Um, but ironically now, I'm a physiotherapist. So my job is to fix people after they've been injured and get them back to walking or running or other sports or activities that they enjoy. Um, I also do lots of other work, so for example in hospitals, um, caring for very poorly people, um, but it's something that I really love and I feel really blessed to be here. Hi, I'm Frances. When I was younger I wanted to be a shoe fitter at Clark's, um, but now I've moved to Leeds and I'm an environmental consultant for an engineering company. Hi, I'm James. I'm still living in Lydney. Um, when I was younger, I wanted to be a puppeteer or a pathologist, and now I'm a grown-up. I've been a fully qualified optometrist for 16 years, and I'm really glad there is a fish as part of our logo. Hello, I'm Beth. Um, I now live in Porthcawl, um, and I'm about to get married in six months' time. Um, and I have started my own company. Um, I trained as a costume designer and maker and then worked as a seamstress and now I've started my own company um, creating a line of clothing specifically designed for people with dementia which will hopefully be launching in September. So it's all exciting things here. Um, I don't really know yet what God's called me. I'm, I'm learning as I go along. I've learnt that he's calling me to be a wife as I'm getting married and I've learnt that he's calling me to be a businesswoman and to be an ethical, um, sustainable businesswoman in a world where um, consumerism and money are, are very important to people and can sometimes take us away from God. So... Um, that's what I feel at the moment, so yeah. Hi folks, I'm John. I'm Janice Newen's boy. Uh, I've been living in Bristol for nearly four years, working as an architectural technologist. I don't really enjoy my job, but uh, I have hope that God put me in it to help me uh, figure out what's what I want to do next um, and what I want to look for in my next job. Um, so yeah, I still have optimis optimism and hope for a good good future. I hope you're all well. Bye. Hi, my name is Doug Owen. When I was growing up, I wanted to be a fireman and then I wanted to be an architect. But I ended up studying international politics at uni and I now work for a Christian schools work charity in Exeter called ICE. I didn't feel specifically called to do the exact job I'm doing now, but my wife and I felt called to be in Exeter and I felt God had given me an opportunity to do mission in the city and that led me to do what I'm doing now. I'm Laura. When I was younger I wanted to grow up to be a children's illustrator or a speech and language therapist. What I actually grew up to be was a midwife and mother of two boys. I don't feel like either of those roles were specifically a God calling uh, but I do try to live out God's call on my everyday life uh, through my work as a midwife, being compassionate and not judging others, uh, as well as raising my children to know and love God and to love other people. Hi everybody, um, my name's Luke Jones and I grew up attending St Luke's uh, with my parents Pete and Laney and uh, my brother Nicholas. Um, as I was growing up, um, I was very into sport. I wanted to be a professional footballer. Um, 
I played at a, quite a decent level, but it didn't work out in the end. So after that, I was um, continued my uh, bachelor's degree at the University of Bath. Uh, still not sure what I wanted to do. Um, but then I did a PhD in Canada, starting in 2007, on the sociology and philosophy of sport. Um, that's where I went, met my wife, uh, Ali. Um, I came back to the UK and started a position at the University of Hull um, as a sports coaching lecturer. Um, and since then, I've continued my research on sports retirement, coaching female athletes, and also more recently, sports chaplaincy. Um, just recently, actually recently written a paper about encouraging sports chaplains to um, use theology uh, to better inform their practices so that they can uh, um, assist athletes in better ways uh, and actually to kind of help them to understand that they don't have to earn um, God's approval by driven to being successful and achieve in their sport, but to rather kind of um, receive God's gifts and to enjoy and kind of uh, manage their lives and their working roles as professional athletes. Um, so um, personally, I've never kind of experienced a, a direct calling that I felt like I should be doing something. However, I've always kind of had a, a conscious uh, awareness of God's presence in my life through good times and blessings, uh, such as uh, the, the, the times I had in sport and then also more recently um, with my family and, the, and children. But also, I've also recognised God's hand in the, the less fun times that have been challenging. And on reflection, I've seen that his hand has been uh, uh, guiding me in those times as well as in the good times. So hopefully that's helpful. Hi, my name's Noor. Um, I was a member of Cypher from 2009 until 2012, after which I moved to Edinburgh, which is where I live now. Um, I remember always wanting to be a writer when I was younger. Uh, I loved writing stories and reading a lot and I think I always knew I would keep this up despite my path diverging to medicine when I was about 16. Uh, so I'm now a qualified doctor working in Edinburgh, uh, currently in psychiatry. Um, during the Covid-19 pandemic I have had a longer placement than expected in psychiatry um, but it's actually strengthened my desire to specialise in uh, this area. Um, one thing I really appreciate working in psychiatry is being given the time to explore people's stories um, and what really holds meaning for them, um, which often plays a huge part in, in their recovery. Um, and my journey with faith um, and growing up in the church has definitely informed where I am now and um, the values that I hold particularly in mental health, where there's still a lot of stigma that my patients have to deal with. Um, and I often feel um, called to provide a non-judgmental and compassionate ear to those who have suffered um, and continue to stuff, suffer discrimination on, on a daily basis. Um, I've also kept writing as a daily practice um, to process and honour patient stories as well as my own feelings. Um, and I think the passions you hold when you're younger often provide a lot of wisdom when, when making dis difficult decisions um, growing up. So I definitely, um, yeah, always remember kind of what was, what was driving you when, when you were younger and what things, um, how can they inform um, where you are in the future. Um, so yeah, that's, that's me. Um, I hope you are all keeping safe um, in these difficult times and are still able to find community um, even though it might be more a distance than, um, than usual. Hello, I'm Hannah Tucker and I'm currently living in Tuts Hill with my parents, Roger and Grace. Um, I recently just got into a course to do a master's in psychotherapy, so that's the profession that I am going into. Um, God's really placed this on my heart for quite a while, a number of years. Um, just really interested in how we can become more of our best selves, um, get rid of some of the blocks and things that are holding us back, um, and step into greater levels of wholeness and well-being, um, and just become more of the people that God's calling us to become, that he's made us. Um, so yeah, I firstly want to do this for myself, but then um, just really want to journey with others 
um, into this and help them on their journey too. It's so lovely to hear these stories of how the young people have grown and developed and how their Christian values have shaped and influenced their lives, which in turn has an influence on the world about them. May God continue to bless them in all their endeavours in the future and as they seek to follow his call and his will for their lives. Amen.